Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, we're going to be shooting some ammo sent in by a viewer, and the idea for the ammo was suggested by him, so we're going to do it. Our buddy Eric sent us a 10 millimeter, and uh, specifically on one of these, it's a double tap, 200 grain, 1250 feet per second. Uh, it's called Controlled Expansion. And here's what that stuff looks like. Pretty wicked round from what he's telling me. Uh, I can't remember if I've shot this stuff before or not. And uh, what he wanted to do was see if I could catch one and see what it looks like. So I've got some water jugs out here lined up. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. We're going to be using our Rock Island 1911 and 10 millimeter. Yeah, man. Yeah, this thing's a real shooter. Well, if y'all would, throw down in the comments what you think. Uh, are we going to catch it? What's it going to look like when it's expanded? How many jugs is it going to take to catch it? Well, I completely miss it and we never find out. So, throw down in the comments what you think. Let me move the cameras over and get set up, and we'll make a shot. And throw Eric down a thanks for sending the ammo, because he sent uh, this, a couple more 10 millimeter, and he also sent some rifle rounds for Hootie Hoo. So, much appreciated, Eric. Thanks, bud. All right, I'm going to get up close to this, so that uh, don't miss. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to pull it in this thick area right here, good and straight. And hopefully we can catch this bad boy. We got one loaded up in there. Hopefully that's all that we need. So let's make this shot. I hope I don't get covered with water in the process. Oh. Well, I didn't miss, but uh, as y'all can see, I got covered. All right, got my glasses cleaned off, so now let's go up here and see what we have. We had eight of them. We know the blue one was in the front. So that's one dead jug, two dead jugs. Well, I mean, you can see where it went through, but the energy, man. All right, so we got this one here. At least I think I got a straight shot. That one there. So that makes three. That one's got some blue in it, too. It just went all the crap. So four of them. Oh, man. This is why I use some clear jugs in the line. We caught it in the fifth one, guys. I know y'all can see that down there. My blind buck can see it. I know y'all can. And if I can get the lid off, or do things one-handed. Dump that critter out, because we want to see that top bullet. Want to see what kind of mess we have there. Wow. Now that is just a trip. The thing pedaled out and folded up. And mushroomed out as well. Now tell me that ain't just awesome. 
That's a keeper. Well, guys, there we have it. Uh, that was pretty cool. Glad I caught it on the first one. But, hey, it was worth getting wet on a cold day to do this shot. And greatly appreciate Eric sending this stuff in. Let y'all get another look at that bad boy. Like I say, it's going into the uh, keeper pile, which, believe it or not, there's a bunch of bullets that we keep when we do these types of tests. There it is. There's a 50 AE. Just all kinds of them that we keep. And we even have a pile of them over here. Just a little bit of everything. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, except for getting soaking wet. Uh, I enjoyed shooting it. That was fun. Well, again, let's throw Eric a thanks for sending in the ammo and the suggestion. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if y'all would, throw me down some comments. And, of course, any questions, any suggestions y'all have, if you'd like to see me shoot them, uh, just, uh, I mean, do like Eric. You know, send a couple of rounds of ammo and uh, tell me, hey, can you catch this bullet or would you shoot it into this, that, or the other thing if I have the gun to shoot it and whatnot. And I'm more than happy to do it and very much appreciate it. If y'all are able, hit us up on Patreon. Get some new stuff going on over there. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.